Just to set the stage, I'm hoping that the, that the title screen just has an endless loop. I'm hoping it doesn't just uh, stop after the song is done and then lead to me restarting it. But whether it is or it isn't, that's okay. I'm excited. Um, it's been, I, I mean, the, it's been a week. I'm looking, I, I, I don't browse r slash am I the asshole throughout the week because I don't want to uh, spoil myself for what's going to happen. But seeing that the first person who made a post here deleted their account, my god, something, something must have gone wrong. <laughs> I can't imagine what it actually is, but uh, may maybe it attracted a little bit too much attention or something like that, but I'm excited either way. Um, oh yeah, that's top today. That's not top this week. You're absolutely right. User was awarded silver for this post. So true, my my fellow gentle sir. Okay, let's let's load up top by this week. Uh, <laughs> it's, oh my god, I I'm preserving it for you a little bit here. Get ready for this, okay? This is a good one. Um, right here. Am I the asshole for calling my sister's husband useless? I'm going to go ahead and say the answer to that. I mean, it, it's one of those, they always bait you, right? It says not the asshole, but the title is like, you sound like kind of a, a butthole. But let's see here, okay? Let's scroll up and see. And also, Sol Rea, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. <laughs> My seven, I'm 17. My sister, 34, called me saying that her work had an emergency and she needs to get there ASAP. She needed me to watch her kids because no one else can. I rushed over there just to find her husband locked in his game room playing video games. I asked her why she called me over if he was home, and she said he didn't want to babysit because it was his only day off. Already kind of a bad start. Um, why are people are saying this is me? This is not me at all. I, I cut my, my gaming hours by like two-thirds to be the greatest dad you could ever expect in your entire life. Just because I'm a gamer who's also a dad doesn't mean I'm ignoring my fatherly responsibilities. I mean, do you not see that I... I got the polo shirt buttoned up to the top. You can't get much more dadly than that. Sister left. I started hanging with the kids. I was changing the baby's diaper and the other kids wanted a snack. I told them to go ask their dad to make them a snack since the baby had a blowout. And it was going to take a while to clean him up. Well, their dad sent them back upstairs and told them to ask me again. After cleaning the baby up, I made the kids a snack and their dad came out to eat and told me not to let the kids interrupt him on his day off. Okay, very bad. Um, already, obviously not the asshole. The, the dad is uh, kind of a piece of garbage, for sure, at least based on this story, whether it's true or not. I kind of snapped at him and told him it was my day off, too, and that he's a useless effing father and husband if his wife has to rely on her teenage sister rather than her own husband. He started telling me I was disrespectful and didn't understand how hard parenting is. I told him he clearly doesn't understand how hard it is either, since he considers parenting his own children to be babysitting. He ended up kicking me out, and apparently my sister was forced to come home because he told her she needed to figure it out since I'm her sister. This is, I, I don't even have anything to react to right now because this is like such a cut and dry situation. Um, but hey, how many levels of IQ are you on? You just kicked out your free babysitter um, because she asked you to like cut up a mango for your own kids or something. I feel like I may be the asshole because my sister's mad at me, her husband is mad at me, my mom is mad at me for causing drama, my dad thinks it's funny and agrees with me, based father based father incoming i definitely didn't need to call him names but i just hate this guy so much we've argued about things in the past my sister's saying i need to apologize and he's threatening to never let me into the kids lives if i keep disrespecting him <laughs> oh man this is pretty bad uh edit wow i was not expecting this uh, and to the people who message me dick pics or to kill myself, what, why, lol, y'all are crazy. Yeah, I mean, this is, I have a lot of sympathy for you. Also, welcome to the internet. Anytime you make something that's popular, you uh, become a conduit and a lightning rod for the most insane people that have ever existed on planet Earth. Uh, unfortunately, that's, uh, I think that's Reddit in a nutshell. 
Um, for anyone who asks, no, he does not take care of the kids normally. My sister takes them to daycare and then picks them up on her way home. She's the breadwinner and the primary caretaker. Can I tell you, um, I mean, this is a, uh, it's a, long, a story from a long time ago. One time my friend was driving me to Mouse University campus, uh, which is like five hours away, and we picked up a friend of my driver's, uh, and when, when we picked him up, he was like, dude, I gotta get out of my house. My stepdad is in there, and, uh, like, all he does all day is play the game Black on PS2. So then we, we, you know, when we picked him up, we were like, yeah, he's playing Black on PS2, the middling first-person shooter. I swear to God, we drove away, spent the whole weekend at Mouse University House, came back... And then he was still playing black on the PS2. Like, the guy is... He, he was in love with the game. Also, it was probably like, you know, at that point, the game was maybe like four years old. We were deep into the PS3 era. It's the ultimate dad game. Anyway. Um, sorry, that was... I, I Like everybody else on the internet, I took this story as an opportunity to insert my own uh, much less interesting story that feels more interesting because it happened to me instead of to a stranger. This is the easiest uh, question of all time. Uh, you are not the asshole for calling your sister's husband useless. That's a gimme. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, th this guy does not seem like a... If he exists, does not seem like a good father. I mean, I'm, I'm his age. Are there days where I... Uh, you know, and I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like as excited about changing diapers today. I don't feel as excited about, you know, doing feeding time or bath time or whatever. Of course, you know, it's a li there's some drudgery and sometimes you're like, oh, I'm desperate for like a little time for myself. But, you know, both parents, everybody involved in raising the kid goes through the exact same uh, situation. You're, you're all feeling like you need some time, so you gotta lean on each other. You just do it anyway. That's what it means to be a... Uh, that's what it means to be a, a good parent. On top of that, um, I know people are like... It's crazy that people were sending them um, illicit photos because they're underage. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing it to begin with. I feel like a lot of people are maybe focusing on the worst aspect of it for sure, but... I am surprised at how many people in chat are like, hold up, they sent nude photos to a 17-year-old? You shouldn't do it to begin with. That's kind of like the open and shut case on that one. It's not like, well, I did uh, send a naked photo of myself to a stranger because they made a post on Reddit I didn't like, but at least they were 18 in two days, you know? Anyway, those, that's, that's mega bad. Everything about this post is mad. Or is bad, I should say. <laughs> Let's move on to something that maybe has a little bit more uh, reactability associated with it. Let's see. Am I the asshole for ruining my sister's wedding? Yo, the music is so legit. Don't downvote assholes, by the way. Um, throw away account, and please don't repost anywhere else. Every time, do we have to do this every single time? I, I'm laughing, like, people always make a post on, like, am I the asshole? And then they're like, please don't show this to anybody. I just want everybody on the internet to see it, but do not share it at, with anybody else at all. How about this one? Am I the asshole for being surly, rude, and mean at a wedding and leaving early? Disclaimer, I'm trying to get a TV show made out of this, so please do not copy. <laughs> I Am I the asshole for being surly, rude, and mean at a wedding? And leaving early. I was asked to be a member of the wedding party. Despite this, I was... Time to caps lock was uh, one sentence. Get ready. Despite this, I was the only person at the ceremony who was not allowed to have a plus one. This was an outdoor wedding with unlimited seating, and these people don't give a S about COVID, so it wasn't about that. Okay. I feel like this is... Are there edits involved here? I have to wonder 
why you were the only person not allowed to have a plus one. Because, let, um, just hear me out here. If you specifically were not allowed to have a plus one, my question, and I don't want to say hunch, my question is, you might have terrible taste in partners, and maybe a, an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend has consistently ruined events that they've come to, but they still like you. But I, let, let's see, let's see. I was told it was because my relationship wasn't serious enough, despite us being together for a year, that only engaged or married couples were invited, and that they didn't want some random guy in their wedding pictures who I might not even be with later in the future. They don't want to have to look at some random guy in their photos, even though he wouldn't have been in any of the posed pictures at all, maybe just in the background of crowd shots. That is, that's very funny. Um, and, and almost, I mean, yeah, if you're... If you're having a wedding, you know, you you want the people that are at least in the, the wedding party photos to, I guess, be as stable as possible. Um, but that is, it, it does sound like a, an I think you should leave post. It's not a guy. It's Bozo. Bozo's in the photo. There have been no conflicts between them and my boyfriend. And he's a nice and mild-mannered guy who gets along with everyone. So I don't think it was about him personally. I get to the ceremony, find out literally everyone else has a plus one, not just married couples, but there are couples there who have been dating for less time than me. This is when I started feeling surly. I smiled and played my part during the ceremony, but inside I was very surly and angry. We then got to the reception, which had way more people than the ceremony. It seems, of course, I mean, the ceremony's boring. The reception's where all the fun happens. This is where all the more distant friends were invited. And everyone there had a plus one. I was literally placed at a table as the, own, oh, the one single person. Everyone else at the table was a couple. Some at the table were other members of the wedding party, but others were random distant acquaintances. People started asking me where my boyfriend was, and I said I was told he wasn't invited. They asked why, and I said I had no idea. This is where I started letting my surliness show and started acting rude and mean because I was humiliated. Um, yeah, that seems fair. And then I was brought into conversation with the couple's male friend, Dean. I was previously told that Dean had a crush on me, and I made it clear I wouldn't be interested even if I were single. Even after that, he kept trying to message me and I ignored him. But now the people who brought me into the conversation were standing around at us, staring and giggling behind their backs. Behind their hands? Behind their hands? Like they thought they were Cupid matchmakers. I was meaner to Dean than I've ever been to anyone else in my entire life. Oh, sorry, I need to scroll down a little. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> I was meaner to Dean than I've ever been to anyone in my entire life. I was as fully rude as I've ever wanted to be when the target of someone's when being the target of someone's romantic interest unwantedly. It's true I don't really know if I was being set up, but I was already furious before that happened. Um yeah, you're not obviously not the asshole. Can I tell you, I, the only reason you would be the asshole is for posting this when you're so obviously not the asshole. I'm, I feel baited into reading this post for there to be any kind of like meat on the bone to talk about, when in reality it's so obviously like you're not the asshole and everybody else is a piece of garbage here, that you you kind of become a, maybe not the asshole, but maybe like a small jerk, small jerk energy, S-J-E. Um, I do want to say, oh, I, I, need to, I need to open the comments in the future. <laughs> If Dean wasn't in on the plan, then it's not okay to be mean to him. Um, yeah, okay, I mean, that's true. We, we can't suggest necessarily that uh, Dean was in on this. We don't know. Um, but then again, Dean made it clear he wouldn't be interested, or I wouldn't be interested even if I were single, but he kept trying to message me. I don't know, it sounds like he was kind of creeping. I don't have an answer for you here that is anything that is that is even mildly controversial. Sounds like Dean was a little bit sus. Yeah, also, how was Dean there by himself if everybody had a plus one? It really it, a little bit of an unreliable narrator, perhaps. And it says literally everyone there had a plus one. 
Maybe Dean's creeping. Or maybe not literally everybody there had a plus one. Who knows? <laughs> Don't lie to me, Dean. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, I, I love... Oh, I was going to say I love these. Because the, the title was... Am I the asshole for banning my mother-in-law from my house? But then it literally starts with like a, a very tragic story. We gotta find some f some I am the asshole. I think I gotta scroll so much just to see the first one. Oh no! Okay, here we go. This is. <clears throat> am I the asshole? Maybe we'll sort by rising a little later today as well. Am I the asshole for telling my partner that my stepson spends too much time at our home and his mother needs to make more of an effort? Everyone sucks. Okay. I'm, I'm excited already. Okay, I've been dating this guy now for nearly eight months. We've been living together for two. Everything was going great. We're like best friends. We had... Hey, d let me just start by saying everything was going great. Followed by a 13,000 upvote, everybody sucks here, am I the asshole post is a little bit... Was everything going great? Especially, I mean, it seems like it's been... I don't know. You know what? I'm not going to give relationship advice because what do I know? We're best friends. We have so much in common. His four-year-old son is now proving to be a bit of a strain on our relationship and I feel like I can't take him anywhere. No, really? Four-year-old kid being a little bit of a, a strain on your relationship? Let's see, wait, come on, the kids, they, honestly, it sounds like the kid kind of sucks here. What's that, oh, let me, oh, feed me, feed me, teach me things, play with me, come on, man. Can't, you can't even go out to the club, There's, they kick out minors at like 9 p.m. His son throws tantrums, slams doors when he doesn't get what he wants, smashing the glass on my sister's door. When we buy him things, he says, I didn't want that, or I don't like it. When we take him to a store, he picks up everything. I, I just need to kind of stop already and say, is a f the, the way you're describing, like you're writing this post to get Reddit to judge your four-year-old, even if they are your stepchild, is a little bit of uh, it's a weird energy. <laughs> like you're writing, you're not just like they behave badly. You're writing an essay that's like, please start to dislike my child. Yo, Dan, thank you for the raid. Is this, you could weigh in on this one, Dan. The, the title of this post is, Am I the asshole for telling my partner that my stepson spends too much time at our house and his mother needs to make more of an effort? So they're four-year-old. Oh, they're just... They're, honestly, it sounds like their four-year-old's kind of the asshole here. He picks up everything he sees and throws tantrums when he doesn't get them, spits his food out when we cook for him, tells us he doesn't like us, making my seven-year-old niece cry when he says horrible things to her, as well as throwing her things off of our balcony, etc. He's a nightmare! Let me just add that his dad always has to buy him new toys every time he takes them out, which I told him he shouldn't. His mother is now treating us like a daycare. She had him for one day last week and having him for two next week while she goes on holiday with her new boyfriend and going out with friends. Okay. So you, you've set the stage. Look, you might be going a little bit over top, over the top here with the insults to your four-year-old stepchild. However, you know, you got to put yourself in the, in the four-year-old's shoes as well. You know, that they're, they're only four and they are already living with like a new mother figure. Like, of course they're... They're acting out a little bit. Plus, they're four. My partner is now currently unemployed, and I'm the main breadwinner and struggling to support all three of us due to, have to, buying, doing, due to having to buy extra food and more gas and electric usage. This is something that I always end up looking uh, maybe a little bit like I'm in a bubble on this because electricity is pretty cheap where I live. The idea that, like... I mean, if, if you added, like, an extra four-year-old to your electric bill, I have to imagine that it over here would probably be like $20 a month. You give the kid a bath every other day and I, I don't even know, like what are they using the iPad all the time? Kids obviously not stoked. Yeah, they mine in bitcoins, your four-year-old mine in bitcoins on their little Microsoft Surface. Yo, spinning machine, thanks for the gifted subs, thank you. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. 
more gas and electric usage. I'm also woken up at 7 a.m. every Saturday and Sunday because my stepson wants the iPad charging or more games downloading when weekends are supposed to be my time after working all day Monday to Friday. I don't finish until 8 p.m. This is something I have some sympathy for, but I also just have to say that that's like, that's what you get when you have kids. Like when you're in your 20s, uh, you don't have kids. I guess it doesn't have to be in your 20s. When you work five, six days a week, you get to be a little bit more protective of your day off. Uh, when you are in an arrangement where you're also taking care of a child, the child's interests uh, take precedent over you, whether you, you got to get up at 7 a.m. or otherwise. I told my partner this has to stop, and my place cannot be treated like a daycare. He needs to either take him out weekends or rotate it so we have him every other weekend. I feel like my life has been taken over as well as my apartment as his son has his own bedroom and my things have been taken out of drawers and placed in plastic bags, which I'm now living out of. I need more information about this as well. This, what, I don't understand what the, why your stuff has been taken out of drawers and placed into plastic bags. I mean, <laughs> Be that as it may, uh, my partner is struggling being away from his son, and I feel horrible for giving him ultimatums, but I feel I need to look after myself too as I did, as I never did in my last relationship. I suffer from depression and anxiety. I feel this whole situation is making things worse. Am I the asshole? Well, uh, my let's look at the edits first, okay? I'm not trying to stop my partner from seeing his son. I'm merely implying the kid needs routine and equal time with both mom and dad on rotating days in which my partner also agrees. I know they come as a package and I'm willing to take this on, but neither parent is financially supporting this child. Okay, I think that I, I agree with the flair that everybody sucks here, IMO. <laughs> uh, your, it, it sounds like based on the post, your boyfriend should take a more uh, serious role in raising his own son. Especially, like, uh, you know, you, you are in a relationship with somebody that has a kid. That's going to change your life, for sure. But you have also only been dating for eight months. Like, expecting your girlfriend of eight months to be such a, a dependable mother figure for your child, who is super young and perhaps has some behavioral issues is a little bit of an asshole move for sure. You know, it's going to it's going to take some time to adjust to that for for everybody involved. Um I have no idea what's going on with the the birth mother. So my, I mean, it sounds like the the birth mother is painted in a very negative light here, but maybe she's been watching the kid like crazy for a year and now she's going on vacation for a week after two years of the pandemic, you know, that doesn't make her a bad mother necessarily if there's other, if there's the infrastructure in place for other people to watch. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm like, I, the only reason that I'm like, she's kind of a, an asshole is a, a result of the fact that she just dedicates like an entire paragraph to the four-year-old being badly behaved. And I'm like, yeah, they're four. My... Asshole baby shits her pants two times a day. When I try to change her diaper, she rolls around in it, making it that much harder to clean. No matter how many times I tell her, stop rolling, she keeps rolling. Am I the asshole for saying stop crapping your pants? Like, it's a little kid. But I, I do, I will say, I, this is like the second post this week already. Hold on, I'm just opening the, the comments here. I always want to see if there's some spiciness. But um, th that's the second comment this week that was like, uh, you know, I get one day off and I'm so sick of having the seven days a week care about a child. And I'm like, I get that it's not your biological kid, but it's a package deal in the relationship. That's what having a kid is like, you know, seven days a week. You're, you got to do some kid related responsibilities you know you don't get hey I, I worked till eight last night honey can you just like you know cook yourself lunch she's four years old she can't even you know hit the knobs on the on the stove anyway scroll down for the update oh you guys couldn't oh sorry sorry Update, my partner has landed himself a job. We've had a talk about his son's behavior. My partner decided to stop spoiling him and reward him only for good behavior. My partner is also going to speak to his ex about the lack of time she's spending with him. Found out the few days she does have him, she's taking him to her mom's and leaving him there. Look, again, 
It's good. It's good that you communicated, all right? That's what I'm going to say about that. I am going to say that the update certainly appears to take absolutely no responsibility. And also, I would like to hear about things from the, uh, the mother's side. But... Because <laughs> it's... It, we, she's like a fringe character in this whole story where we're like, uh, you know, I hate that lady that has been described by her ex-husband's new girlfriend as being such a selfish dickhole. Anyway, um, everybody sucks here. Your house isn't being treated like a daycare. It's being treated like the home of a child's parent. You're in a relationship with the parent. You need to come to terms with the fact that he might wind up with his kid full time. Or you need to not be in a relationship with a parent. Little kids get up early, and if that bothers you, you shouldn't be living with the kid and his parent. Not at all reasonable to tell the child, to tell the parent the child needs to not exist in your space. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> your partner sucks for putting you in a position where you're living out of bags in your own home. I, I do wish that you would also have told me um, why, why the bags? I don't under... Like, they took the, your adult stuff out of the drawers to put the child's... Uh, stuff into the drawers? I'm not saying this is a situation where maybe you just buy another chest of drawers. I just gotta know why it's in bags. Like, a, do, you, do you live in, like, a... Is your house half submerged with, like, ankle-high water where you can't just put stuff on the ground? I don't, I don't understand, but anyway. One of these days, we'll figure it out. No questions about the bags, please. Colorectal surgeon. That's how you know like they got their head screwed on straight. Here's the thing. He's not going to change. This is how he parents. This is how he deals with his ex. You've been dating less than a year, and this guy already has you supporting him. You're feeling mental health effects. You're struggling financially. Looking after yourself is the correct choice. The way you're doing it is not okay. Okay, so that's a very nice way for him to say, uh, either tell your boyfriend to shape up or break up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like a lot of these posts are like, just break up. Um, and I, I don't think that's fair to say that he's not going to change. You know, I, I feel like maybe you the best assumption is that he's not going to change and you should, you know, maybe operate under that assumption. But simultaneously, I'm like, that's a little rude to the boyfriend. Yeah, plus the update says he promised that he would. Whether or not he actually will, who knows, but still. All right. Well, at least we, we got some meat on that one. I can always respect a little meat. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for more. Oh, oh, this is... Oh, <laughs> oh, this is good stuff. Things are getting spicy. Love the music too, man. Just adds another extra element. Am I the asshole for telling my friend her birthday is annoying? My 19-year-old friend... My... I'm 19. My friend's birthday... My... It, it just doesn't roll off the tongue very well. Poster is 19. Friend is 18. My friend celebrates her birthday for an entire week every year. She grew up really spoiled and still is, to be honest, and she says it's normal. Her reasoning is that she has too many friends, so she can't see them all in the same day, and she doesn't want to mix her friend groups for a big party, so she just goes out with everyone separately for an entire week. How many times has this happened if she's only 18? I mean, from zero to like six, the birthday parties are basically just like come over, eat some Dairy Queen ice cream cake, and then from like... Six until twelve? Nobody's going out and like, oh, I gotta, I'm having seven birthday parties or something like shit. This only happened like a few times. I'm not jealous or anything, but it's ridiculous. She'll basically, <laughs> I'm not jealous or anything, but it's ridiculous. She'll basically be unavailable that entire week because she has to see everyone. Also, she acts like a princess all the time, but it's especially prominent during birthday week. On her B-Day, like that actual day, she even wears one of those blingy tiaras as part of her outfit. She was definitely one of those girls that brings balloons to, her, to school on her birthday. It sounds like you hate this person and you should not be friends. So, I mean, literally at no point have you mentioned any positivity in your relationship 
anything that enhances, you know, the quality of life for either of you. It's just, uh, are you being forced under, under threat of incarceration to be friends? I don't understand. Also, she posts Instagram stories to thank everyone for their gifts and time. Like, we don't care your dad got you a car or whatever. And she gets upset if someone she thought she was close with forgets her birthday. She won't lash out or tell them anything. But she'll be like, wow, so-and-so forgot. Anyways, all this is really childish. Sometimes you hit the nail on the head. And I told her that her birthday week is extremely childish and annoying and that I won't be participating. And she said, it's fine, but stopped replying to my texts or answering my calls to hang out. I think she's upset even though she tried to pass it off as, it's fine. Reddit, am I the asshole? Okay, and then here's your update. <laughs> the problem, I apostrophe S, because her birthday... They, I'm not even mad about this. This is an autocorrect situation where, like, we're now at a point where autocorrect um, suggests incorrect spellings rather than the correct spelling more than it actually helps you out. So I'm, I'm going to blame the phone for this. The problem is because her birthday is always over the top and everyone makes a huge deal. Oh, it's her name's birthday next week? We better be obnoxious and not shut up about it. Also, if gifts don't matter to her, why is she posting about it rather than thanking the people in private or over text? Wow! I forgot what it was like to have uh, no real problems in your life. Maybe that's judgmental. But I, I, I'm being teleported backwards into like my teenage years. And when you would be preoccupied with, like, nothing, you would think you would obsess for hours about absolutely nothing, as if it was the largest deal of all time. Um, you're definitely the asshole. Your friend's uh, birthday is... who cares? I mean, like, I know that I, I do see some people saying, like, everybody sucks here. You can dislike her friend because, like, it sounds like she's rich and her friend, her dad is buying her a car. But, like, it's, she's 18 years old. What do you, like, what do you want her to do? Don't, if, if you got a car, if you're 18 years old and you got a car, you might post a tweet or an Instagram uh, story or something and be like, you know, thanks for the car. You're, you're a teenager. Now that I'm, you know, in my 30s, if somebody gave me an expensive gift, I would never tell anybody because I'm trying not to make myself a target for, you know, robberies and muggings. But as a teenager, you're, you know, you're flexing, you're trying to establish your identity. She's 18 years old. She's basically a child is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Um, but the way that the, the, the amount of offense that OP is taking to her supposed friend uh, celebrating her birthday too much... This is the kind of thing you think about and maybe you talk about in the group chat. Uh, but you definitely don't go like, Hey, I, we're friends, right? So I can tell you anything. Uh, the way you celebrate your birthday is extremely childish and annoying and I won't be participating. Definitely makes you uh, the asshole. Mod post. First off, explore new criminal possibilities in Red Dead Online, by the way. All with no upfront investment necessary. Play now. <clears throat> Locked because quite frankly... I want to enjoy my weekend. Reddit mods everywhere have, have the same energy. You're the asshole. It sounds like your friend isn't intentionally hurting anyone. She might even be trying to accommodate everyone by spacing out different means of celebrating her birthday across a week so everyone could get more personalized time with her. Look, I'm going to tell you my hunch is that her friend is spoiled and maybe a little bit uh, hungry for attention. And I think that this person is replying and being very generous and optimistic, but they are also 18 years old and who cares, you know? Just just because it sounds like her friend's a little bit hungry for attention, that doesn't mean, uh, you know, she's a bad person. How you attempt to justify your perception that she acts like a princess comes down to her seemingly being excited about turning a new age and maybe having a big personality. It seems like your friend's way of celebrating what she considers a significant event and how she expresses herself isn't for you, and that's okay, yet it can be rude and unexpected to push your judgments on her about a birthday that doesn't have to concern you if you don't want to do it 
if you don't want it to do so. All in all, her birthday week isn't about you and it's not supposed to be. She's worthy of all the kinds of celebrations she desires rather than the lack thereof you want for her. What the hell are you talking about? You're right, but why? Wait, bold. This is such live, laugh, love energy. Like, may, maybe I'm the asshole now, but the fact that it's bold and italicized on top of the actual wording involved here... What do you mean she's worthy of the celebration she desires? You don't know who this lady is. Couldn't you just say it's her birthday? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's her birthday. You know, it doesn't concern you. I don't know why you've turned it into some kind of, you know, mantra. But anyway, I mean, this is just, I'm, I'm just surprised. Could have taken that one back to the drawing board. Um, I'm just seeing, oh my God, it's, it's fostered a lot of discussion. That's for sure. You're the asshole, you do sound jealous. It's one week a year, you don't even have to be a part of it. Since she's basically unavailable for the week, you don't have to participate, so just send your gift, bow out of events, and temporarily hide her on social media. It's not that big of a deal. Let her enjoy her birthday. Yeah, exactly. Why do you care? <laughs> it also does not sound like they're, uh, like they're friends. Okay, that was a good one. Dude, the, the I am the asshole ones are, they're so much more entertaining. I, some of these, I, I like when the thumbnail or the, the title doesn't lie to you. Maybe, yeah, we'll get some gray area questions going later if, if we can, if, like, filter by controversial, maybe. Because I'm trying to think, uh, normally on Reddit, when you filter by controversial, it's actually, like, just the worst shit you'll ever see in your life. But I feel like on a subreddit designed to make judgments... Filtering by controversial might actually give you the highest quality posts, but I might be, uh, I might be incorrect. <laughs> we'll, we'll see either way. Okay, this one is a, a guarantee. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for being shocked that my friend will get married before me? I have this friend, let's call her Jane, because her name's Jane. We're in our mid-30s now, but we were roommates since freshman year of college. She's one of my closest friends, and I know her super well. And I know that for all of her 20s, she had horrendous luck with her love life and was extremely insecure about it. She always wanted to get married and have kids, kept ending up with douchebags who would cheat on her or man who straight up didn't like her daddy issues and crying about it. And I was always there for her through it and reassuring her how she won't die alone. But her love life kind of became a punchline. I was always there for her, telling her she's not going to die alone. That being said... Her love life was a little bit of a punchline in our group of friends. Everyone was there. She laughed about it, too. She had a fun time with it. Oh, that's so good. Sometimes she'd go along with it, especially once she got into her 30s and was still single. She'd say, like, Haha, yeah, guys, we all know I'm going to die alone all the time. And I know she was torn up about it, but we were always reassuring her that it's not the case. And she was in therapy about it. Oh, oh, oh th that sentence is so... Li <clears throat> Let me try again. But her love life kind of became a punchline in our group of friends, and sometimes she'd go along with it, especially once she got into her 30s and was still single. She'd say, like, Haha, yeah, guys, we all know I'm gonna die alone all the time, and I know she was torn up about it, but we were always reassuring her that it's not the case, and she was in therapy about it. Anyways, about a year ago, she finally met an incredible man and they fell in love almost instantly. He proposed to her last week and she's just completely over the moon. I've never seen her this happy. This weekend, we all went out to celebrate and all our friends were saying how we're so happy for her after a long and difficult road. It was really emotional. For context, I'm single. No boyfriend and I want to get married too. But I'm not a pathology like she was. And so I said, I can't believe Jane will get married before me. She started crying and stormed out, and the evening was completely spoiled. I tried calling her this weekend, but she was hysterical and said that I didn't have to point out that she's so unlovable and it's a miracle she tricked someone into proposing. Jane, Jane, have you not, have you forgotten about the fact that your love life is a punchline in our group? Jane... Come on, Jane, have you forgotten about how we always used to make fun of you for that, the fact that you wouldn't ever get married and you die alone and then we were like, I'm just kidding? <laughs> have you forgotten about all the fun jokes we had about you living alone for the rest of your life? 
It's quite sad. Dot, dot, dot. But that's not what I meant. That's her own baggage. That's... <laughs> I'm not a pathology like she was, by the way. I apologize, but also suggested she should talk to her therapist. Hey, I'm sorry if my joke offended you. Have you ever considered uh, that your reaction might be something you take up with a mental health professional? Because I don't think that I did anything wrong. Uh, and now she completely refuses to speak to me and won't answer my messages. A couple others in our friend group are on her side. Well, some have said that she's overreacting and will come around. Am I the asshole? Wow, this is, um, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, like, not the, no, people in chat are like, it's the worst person I've ever seen. She's not a war criminal. Um, but maybe that's because she hasn't had the opportunity to be yet. In such a small, like, domestic social situation, she's already proven herself a bad judge of character, I would say, just to begin with. So for anybody, you know, that's treating this as instructive rather than merely educational, why would we suggest OP is the asshole in this situation? Look. It, it's, the start of this is a little complicated. The end is very simple, okay? The first thing I would say is you gotta... When, when you make jokes with your friends about things that they're actually sensitive about, you gotta... You know, be very, very careful, okay? Like, even with close friends, like, Malf and I will banter, we'll make fun of each other. There's things that I would, you know, take more offense to Malf making fun of me for. Not baldness, for example. I don't know, but something else. And there's things that might hurt Malf's feelings that I could say. And you just, the, the spirit of friendship is, like, bantering, but also knowing that, you know, you shouldn't cross that line. And it kind of sounds like, uh... You know, Jane, for the names have been changed to protect the innocent, uh, ha has a complex about the fact that she thought she was going to die alone based on the fact that she was actually in therapy uh, about it. And yet you and the rest of your friends treating it as a punchline, pretty bad. That's, that, that's already like, at, at the very least, a, a bit of a spicy gray area. Um, then, when she's happy... To be like, I can't believe Jane got married before me is really bad when all you have to do is not make it about you and instead be like, congratulations, like how hard is that? And then just have a good night. And then the, the triple down is like, I respect it, but also it's horrible. When she said... Uh, I kind of apologize, but also I suggested you should talk to your therapist about it. I don't need, I, I mean, sometimes I'll make a joke, someone will take real offense to it. And I want, in my head, I'm like, oh, come on, you baby. Maybe you should talk to your therapist about it. But you never say it out loud. You just go, I'm sorry, I didn't think about the that what I said would affect your feelings like that. You know, it's not, that's part of like what it's like to be an adult and have friends is you you spend some time apologizing for things that you think the other person's overreacting about but they're reacting that way because it's like about their feelings instead of you know about yours like her feelings are hurt because of what you said and then your feelings are hurt because of the fact that her feelings are hurt like who's who's in the wrong there i think that's an easy one anyway yeah so she's like the super asshole no question um Wow, Major, you're the asshole here. Sounds like there's some jealousy going on that Jane is getting married while you're still single. Her love life should never have been a punchline. You and your friends contributed to her insecurities. Who responds to a proposal like this? Wouldn't be surprised if Jane cuts you off altogether. Agreed. This. This. User was awarded Reddit gold for this post. Wholesome award. So much this. Up dudes to the left. My gentle sir. <laughs> but then I do like that on am I the asshole people like go for the jugular vein who knows maybe OP's disgusting attitude is the reason men don't find her attractive oh I'm sure of it no one likes a bitter jealous bully like that uh, he, she was rude for sure in her comments at the same time that's a little over the top 
It, it's the classic like internet thing, right? Where like someone makes uh, behaves badly in public or they engages in like a social faux pas, and people are like, "Yeah, they should be killed." Maybe I think, and everyone's like, "So true." One point seven thousand upvotes. Anyway. <laughs> People have suggested, go to Am I the Asshole Filtered? And that is like the... That's got the best posts. Let, let's see. This. So much this. 